My name is Kat Ferris, and I am going to show you uh, concepting, character design, page layout, page cleanup, a little bit about inking, coloring, and finalizing with effects. So to start out, we're going to be in the rough stage. And that's not just for character and art, but it also, especially at the beginning, means the rough stage of your story and your concept. So we're going to talk a little bit about concepting and creating the basic bones of your story and outline so that you have a path to follow when you make your comic. OK, one thing that really drew me to Clip Studio is that they have a wider variety of brushes that more naturally mimic regular drawing materials and like inking materials. It felt more to me like the barrier between drawing on paper and drawing on the computer was lifted. I like using some of the basic clip paint brushes, but I also found that there were brushes I could find online, specifically like I like the Frendon brush packs. He does a really good job of making things that feel like real life materials. When I'm starting out, getting a rough idea of what I want to do and what I want my project to be like, I like to do a lot of brainstorming. And for me, that usually starts out by myself, sitting around, throwing out as many ideas as I possibly can. Doesn't matter if they're ridiculous, doesn't matter if you think they're dumb, turn off your internal editor and just let things go. I've filled entire sketchbooks. Nothing is a bad idea at this point because you're just starting out. You don't want to limit yourself. You never know what's going to be useful to you later or what's going to stick and what's going to sound exciting to you. When you're creating a character, I mean, you have to think about a lot of things. Knowing what kind of story you want to tell really helps because that will dictate your style and it will also dictate what your characters look like. If you have a really silly story, maybe you're going to want to push it super cartoony and have it be cute and adorable or like super round and bouncy. If you have a more serious story, maybe you're going to want to bend more towards the realistic side and have things that are like sharper, more serious, more severe looking. So once you have a huge list of stuff to pick from, it's good to kind of narrow that down. And I personally like to move to a collaboration stage where I go to a friend or someone that I feel comfortable bouncing ideas off of. It's really nice to have just something to pull you out of your own head, even if it's just a friend on the internet. You don't even have to meet in person, like Tumblr buddies or on Twitter or whatever. Just put it out there and have someone help you go beyond what you would have just thought of yourself. So once you've got a basic idea of what you're going to be doing, you're going to want to take some time and really figure out your basic story outline. What is the main idea of your story? What is the point? What is the purpose? What are you looking to say? That is going to help dictate to you what your characters are going to look like, maybe what color choices you're going to use, what kind of style you're going to work in. It's really important to have those basic points nailed down first. Otherwise, things are going to start to feel jumbled later on, and you want to make sure that everything is really cohesive. It helps you to keep a solid story and a solid concept. So now that you've got the basic idea in your head, you're going to want to start developing your visuals. I like to use sketching exercises to help warm up my brain and my hand, and also to basically brainstorm your character, kind of like you did when you were brainstorming your story idea. You're going to want to just let it all out right now. Play with everything that you're interested in doing, working with different styles, trying out different faces, different expressions, different silhouettes, all sorts of things. And the best way to do that is to start with some gestures. Keeping it loose, keeping it sketchy. Again, turn off your internal editor. Don't worry too much about like correcting things or wondering if it's perfect. You just want to have as many ideas as possible on the page so that you don't get stuck with just your first idea. Because, I mean, sometimes your first idea is going to be great, but it's really helpful to have a bunch of things to pick from just in case so you're not limiting yourself in any way. You want to be as creative as possible. So now that we've got a basic idea of what we're going to be doing, and we've gotten a whole bunch of story ideas out, a whole bunch of character ideas out, we've warmed up our hand, we're going to want to move on to character design. We've already covered rough story, concepting, brainstorming, basic gestures, and basically getting our hand warmed up and ready to tell the story that we want.